Hey everybody, welcome to Bluegrass Heaven. Uh, today we're going to take a look at jamming. So most of us are learning how to play bluegrass music because it's awesome to go to a festival or camp out and play with people. And a lot of times you're going to go to a jam or festival and play with people that you don't know and songs you've never heard of. Uh, take a look at the video understanding chord progressions and that'll help you out um, learning some different backups and stuff like that for different chord progressions but once you're able to jam and you've got your uh, songs down um, and that's one thing you know in a jam you're standing around in a circle there's no music stand so one if you're doing a vocal tune you got to have those uh, lyrics memorized and also find out what key you sing it in best. Um, so you need to work on the song and figure out if you're singing it in G or D or A, etc. So if you're at a jam, you're going to be in a big circle of people and uh, normally everything goes in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Um, so you'll be asked to lead a song when it comes to your turn so you need to have some songs under your belt, um, more than just a couple, because in an hour jam or two hour jam, your turn's gonna come around a couple of times and um, there's nothing worse than being at a jam where it's pass, 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 and then you end up, you know, if you're the only one singing, you gotta sing six songs. And if you only have a couple of songs under your belt, chances are somebody might do that song before it comes around to you and you gotta have another backup song. Uh, or your instrumental songs. Uh, a lot of fiddle players and mandolins like to do different instrument, instrumental songs. Uh, so um, when you're in the circle, uh, if the jam's already started, when you get in, uh, it'll probably be going in a certain direction and you can see who all is taking breaks and who's passing on their breaks. Um, if you're starting up the jam or you're unsure of who's going to take breaks, the main thing you want to do is, if you're going to the left, um, ask that person before you start off, are you going to take a break on this song? So that way you're set after your first chorus to hand it off to that person to take a break. So one of the things uh, that you really got to do in jamming is it's a lot of eye contact and body language uh, during the course of the song. So one thing to keep in mind if you've got like 10, 12 people in the circle uh, and there's only two or three verses to the song, you don't want to do a verse chorus one break, verse chorus one break, verse chorus nine breaks, and then a chorus. You want to kind of see who all is taking breaks and divide that up so you can have two, three breaks in between each verse chorus and give everybody a chance to take a break. If there is a lot of people taking breaks, uh, again, if you look at the uh, chord progression video, you'll see at the end of the second line in most bluegrass songs, there's a fill-in lick, and that's a really good place to split the break so that the first person can take a break on the first half, and then the next person would take a break on the second half. So. Again, when you get the breaks going, if you ask that person on your left to take that first break, while he's taking your, his break, you wanna look at the next person and kind of give them an eye contact. And as a player, not during your song, you don't wanna be looking down at your instrument the whole time because that person leading the song is trying to get your attention to see whether you're gonna take a break or not. So towards the end of the um, song or the progression you want to make sure that you're looking up at the person that's leading the song and give them a yay or nay and you know one of the worst things is to you know it's your break and by the time you're acknowledged it's your break you're already into the first two measures of the song so you're going to miss a lot of your break just because you, you weren't ready or it's frustrating as a leader trying to get somebody's attention if they're going to take a break. So if you're leading the song, what you want to do is at you know the beginning of the fourth line, you want to be looking at 
the next person in line and finding out because if they say no, that gives you another measure to look at the next person and uh, get them going. So uh, again, splitting the breaks, uh, you can get some more breaks in there. A lot of songs such as I'll Fly Away and I Saw the Light, um, they have a verse and a chorus that the chord progression is the same, but the melody is different. So songs like that, you can have one person do a verse break, the other person do the chorus break. So when you begin your song, you want to announce what key it's going to be in. And if you're going to split breaks, announce that you're going to split breaks. Or if you're going to do verse chorus breaks, announce that. Um, then to begin a song, you want to kind of do a, a turnaround and it can be the last line of the song or the last two lines of the song or even, hey, I'm going to take a full break to start this off with. Most of the times you wouldn't begin with a full break. You would just want to start with a turnaround. And if you don't have the melody down for the song, just give them that G, D, G, G or the 1, 5, 1, 1 or 5, 5, 1, 1 line, that turnaround line to uh, get everybody going. So that we talked about it in the chord progression video is that in the, the turnaround line, there's four measures. And in the middle of that, the second to the third measure is usually a five chord going back to a one chord. And that's where that last melody note is on that G. So if you're playing the melody, um, there's probably gonna be a couple of pickup notes before that. Uh, first measure of the fourth line, but you're playing the melody and everybody can hear the melody. What that does for it gives them the tempo of the song so they can jump in and be at the right speed. Um, but when you're waiting for a song to begin, that's where you should join the song is when it goes from that five chord back to the one chord. So on that one beat of the one chord, that's where you would start your rhythm playing uh, and then the person would start singing in the last measure if there's pickup notes or the first measure of the line. So uh, one of the things you want to do is, especially when people are taking breaks, you don't want to be playing too loud because they're trying to do their break and everybody can hear it. But one of the things that happens in playing is when we try to play fast songs, we end up playing very loud. And when we play slow songs, we play very quiet. So that's one thing to work on in your practice is playing fast but quiet, playing slow songs but still playing strong. Don't weaken up on your guitar rhythm or your banjo rolls. You still want to have that strong rhythm because that person taking the break is relying on you to um, keep them on track. And if it's not a song, that uh, they know the melody to, they're trying to listen for those chord changes and things of that nature. And a lot of times you, as a player in the jam, you kind of want to have that chorus in your head and or that chord progression down because not all the time people are going to play the melody of the song and you don't want to get lost. You want to know how the structure of the song goes. So, um, so pass around the breaks and you want to kind of divide it up evenly and you can do verse chorus few breaks verse chorus few breaks verse chorus couple of breaks kind of try to time it out so that you're going to be the last break and then go into a final chorus of the song or if you're doing an instrumental you would kick it off with the full instrumental and then pass it around and then take the last instrumental again so um when you're at the end of the song, if you're going to repeat the last line of the chord progression, it's called a turnaround. So if we were doing Will the Circle Be Unbroken? In the sky, Lord, in the sky. In the sky, Lord, in the sky. So when I did this, this signaled everybody that I was doing a turnaround and we were going to repeat that last line of the progression. Can't kind of show you here, but if you're just going to stop at the end of the uh, turnaround, 
you would want to lift one leg and kick it out, kind of show this, and that's the stop signal. So when you're performing your song, when you get to the end, you want to do turn around, or you want to put your leg out, kick it a couple of times forward, saying that's a stop. So um, if you're new to jamming, uh, you can just stick around in the outer circle and listen to what's going on, see what's uh, happening in the inner circle. You don't want to get the inner circle going too big if there's a lot of people on the outer jam or outer circle and not enough room to get in. Grab a few of them and say, let's go over here and uh, jam a little bit. So, um, and a lot of times, hopefully, if the person leading that jam sees you on the outside and uh, you look like you really want to get in there, they'll ask you to come on in and join the circle. Um, one of the things I found out uh, early on was uh, when I was in a jam and I didn't know the song and I didn't know the melody and it'd come around to me, I'd be like, no, I'm going to pass. And then the third song came around and I actually knew that one, uh, but I'd passed on the other two and so they didn't even ask me again. So improvising. So one of the things you want to work on is your improvising skills because we're not going to know melody to all the songs and if you're the first one to the left and you've never heard that song before you're not going to even have time to even think about what the melody notes are and be able to put something together so improvise over those different chord progressions knowing where the vocals are and where the fills are so that you can get that phrasing down and go out and jam and have a great time all right thanks for uh Joining me here at Bluegrass Heaven, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.